well, what would the holidays be without seasonal music? You may have some tunes going on at home or in the car, but the Lafayette Symphony Orchestra wants you to see it live this weekend. And joining us now to talk about the Holiday Pops concert is LSO Executive Director Sarah Mummy. Good morning. Good Thanks morning. for coming in this Thank morning. You. So there is just something special about seeing live holiday music right around the season. Absolutely. I, you put it perfectly. I yeah. mean, I, I've got the tunes going in the car <laughs> right. right now, but it's just... It's a completely different experience to see the live orchestra, to hear those favorites live and in person. And you guys have been doing the Holiday Pops concert for a number of years now. A couple mm -hmm. twists, though, this year. Some nice uh, local performances, both before and during the concert. Yeah, absolutely. So to get things started around 7 o'clock, and I should mention this is tomorrow night, right, Friday. Right, not Saturday. Not Saturday, right. the normal symphony night. Um, so Friday night, 7 o'clock, our Suzuki string students. So those are our beginning, um, our kids who are just learning to play violin. The cutest violin. Ones. So cute. <laughs> Um, kind of like five to nine years old, they're going to be performing, um, busting out some holiday carols. Mm -hmm. um, I had a time with our education director, Amy McKinnis, um, before the concert starts at 7.30. And then um, in the concert itself, our uh, guest artist, Tim King, he's mm -hmm. a tenor who'll be joining us. He's actually um, living in, La in, not in Lafayette, but in Indiana right, right now as well. So um, some regional flavor yeah. as well. Um, and then, of course, our great friends at the West Lafayette High School Chorale will be with us under the direction of Ben Waltz, um, who actually came and joined us for a holiday concert a couple years ago with the Rossville Choirs. That, that should be great. And it's really all the holiday favorites, so everybody can probably go through the list at home. Yeah, I mean, it's going to run the gamut from, you know, the Nutcracker Suite to Sleigh Ride um, to How the Grinch Stole Christmas, a little, little bit of something for every holiday taste. What's your favorite part kind of about putting on this performance this year? Is there anything, mm -hmm. one thing that sticks out to you this year? Ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> I'm going to offend someone by not yeah, picking their thing. That's true. Um, I mean, I love doing the collaborations. Mm -hmm. We love having other community organizations with us. So um, probably having the, having the high school chorale with us is going to be my favorite part. And maybe the sing-alongs from some of the audience members. I well, it depends on the audience members. <laughs> I mean, we'll we'll set the bar high and see how they do. But yeah, of course, there'll be a sing-along towards the end of the concert. Excellent. And tell us uh, the details. Friday this time. Friday Saturday. night, 7:30 p.m. at the Long Center. Tickets are available at Lafayette Symphony. All right, LSO Director, Executive Director Ceremony, we appreciate the time as always. Thanks Thank very you. much and happy holidays. Happy holidays.